Hello, welcome back. Today I am making pickled daikon. This is the fish sauce kind, uh, that little bit fishy and a little sweet. It's not the sweet and sour kind. So I started out with two very large daikon. These are huge. Uh, they're gonna be shrinking down, so I make sure I have enough throughout the season. I peel them and wash them and just sort of uh, chunk them up into like matchstick. Well, it's really giant matchstick, but about half an inch uh, square. Whatever you can do, uh, it will work just fine. This is the volume of it uh, right before I dry it. So here I'm using my good old handy dandy dehydrator. I just kind of line them in there, uh, give them some room in between so they the air can flow, the warm air can flow around and dry it. So I have about five layers. I went with 145 degrees. So let's make the potion. I'm using squid fish sauce. So I'm not really sure how how salty it is and the sugar. Uh, sweetness, so I'm doing one to one to one right now. And then just bring it to boil. And simmer for five minutes and let it sit aside. So three to three to two uh, sugar, water, and fish sauce with the squid fish sauce. So it should be a little salty, a little bit sweet. I'm gonna add me a chunk of garlic. And these are two bulbs. Peel them and set them aside. In the meantime, uh, maybe an hour or so later, just check in between and just pick out these a little dry one so that you can dry more or you can dry less. The more you dry, the later the sauce will uh, expand and they'll be more saucy. It's up to you. This is a good time for you can bring out your family, you know, work together for the New Year's. Uh, I'm cutting a lot of these garlic, so give it to your spouse. Uh, let him or her do the, the cutting of the garlic. This is what I have left uh, after a few hours of drying. Uh, traditionally, you know, in Vietnam, people usually just dry them out in the sunshine. So we have the luxury to um, put them in these dehydrator. This is so awesome. And just tuck them in there slightly. Don't overstuff them and give them some room to expand. Add your garlic and uh, your daikon in there. And this is what the fish sauce looks like. I didn't add any additional color, so it's going to be light. If you like a little bit darker, uh, add you some caramel color in there. This thing didn't fit very well for my reuse jar. Uh, so I just add a little bit of aluminum foil and fill them up. So after that, I just like to put a little bit of plastic on the top and screw the, tap, the cap on and set it aside. Uh, you can leave these outside or you can leave them in the fridge for like months or weeks. Uh, and it depends on how long it'll last you. But here's what it looks like after a few weeks. I hope you enjoy this recipe and uh, give it a try. You might like it. It goes very well with anything you like to eat. This is sort of like a pickle, but just be careful. Don't put too much uh, salt in there, too much fish sauce, and it could become too salty for some of you. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Click that thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe on your way out if you haven't for Vietnamese, Asian, home cook, gardening, and more. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.